Take your time. Okay, nothing happened. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your- Skip. No. Skip. For now. Skip. You know, should cut- Skip. Worst case. Skip. No. Skip. Just fucking do- Skip. Okay. I'm okay, calling man. Pan. Skip. And then, just wanna hear- Skip. Sure Skip. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Oh, can't skip this? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. He picked an interesting hour for it. V? Okay, what's going on? Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths, then rethink all this hard, and then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Probably for the best. Was good you... Come along. Just think. Mm -hmm. See exactly. You can let, or you can try pet, or you take our. Okay, gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. I'm gonna try this. Let's with do Pan this. Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh. Just wanna be there for it. Where? See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Wait, Stan and call Hanako? Excuse me, what? Oh, I guess that makes sense because if I also picked the Hanako option, I would also have taken the blockers. And I would have also called her. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to, well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. Yeah, this might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear. You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. All right, let's go.
Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. No! Don't. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like Look we don't have one either. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <coughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as the much as they solid, need to solid. know. Do the aim is to help waters. you out. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? 
And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V. Finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a CERC? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. No making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Ah. Doubt that's entirely true. I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, B, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... it's... an AI from out past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Okay. Well, before I do that, do you have any new mods for me to, like, uh, put onto my body? No. No new mods. You know what? I don't even use the blood pump. <laughs> Let's just put that on there. My passive regen is so high that the blood pump does nothing. Cool. 
Thank you. What a damn shame. Uh, what about what? Hey, Dakota. Shamai, brother of the okay, backers. So what is what it? What the hell else do you have? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt in the asshole. net. Okay, and to you. get in. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Oh my god. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. All right, let's do this. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense systems slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm. for a second you were displeased. And I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You're out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. I think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. 
Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Huh. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Constructs will be integrated? Mean you're gonna absorb them? Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. What am I supposed to do with the shard? You must slot it into an access point. I will take care of the rest. This meeting will not be our last, should you succeed. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, yeah, child. We barely jacked him when the temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. Okay. What happened here? In you melted half my tech. Road. That's what happened. Neural Excellent. activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, my body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi Calm and yourself, fast... child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. That was fun. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. it. Doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. If 
fellas. We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Cool. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. I would like it to be daytime. Uh oh. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? <laughs> he Fuck me, Saul. He is. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Saul, are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors too, but to be an Aldecal though, I, I don't know if you Just should. Just answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldecal though, damn it. Right Thanks for everything, us, v. v, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Welcome What's to the they say? Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldecaldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. He broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A this raid is a raid. Calls for our drink, this is still your night. We'll Some basketball to you. found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? I miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it. 
in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, it feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel. And they need some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You, uh, you have to look around. Mad at so me. Maybe I'll take two more 45s. I once found a dead CNS magpie in the hood of my car. Today. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. Hmm. I still remember this smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be? The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Watch where you are going. I have no reason to live. I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some raffin. Militech broadcasts on modular frequencies. Forget it, trust me. And if I do latch on to their signal, and we find out who's on the site, what then, huh? Hey, if you manage to get past their jammers, and their runner doesn't surge or walk you or pinpoint our location, then the next round's on me. <laughs> Deal. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact yet? Because they don't give two licks about us. <laughs> I mean, look around. Would you? <sighs> look what the cat dragged in. Revolver. Empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hmm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Again. Uh oh.
Oh. Stop! Not bad. You could have done better, but you could have done worse. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Could I? Could I have done that again? Oh, I could. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> I didn't know that you can just do it immediately. Jeez. Give me a chance, man. Out, down, three, two, one. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, great. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Better saved. <laughs> I'll load it a little bit further back. I wish I can remove those. Ugh. Well, this doesn't matter. Boots. Absolutely ridiculous. God, why is there no transmog? <sighs> this is this is travesty. Simply advance toward their destinations or conduct raids. And they need some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You are. Uh, I might have to be. You have to look around. I so maybe I'll take, take two more fortifies. See an estimate. It had been a cold night. The magpie looking for one that found the engine. We couldn't get out this morning. We got cooked alive. Okay. I still remember this. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. But your future... What's this? Essentially. And... The end. Worthy gesture. Actually... Okay, let's actually just stay there. <laughs> I enjoy our intimacy. Don't tell her this might be the end! You have a reason to live! Head. Because we do! She wants to quit her job in Colorado to come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, we don't know that. It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, 
I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Now, you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Akoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, B. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, B. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. The sensors malfunction at higher altitude. Well, hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. I don't know who you are. I, I don't even remember you. Oh, Jess, what's up? Oh, wow. That's a good weapon. That's a good weapon. Wow. Okay. It's about the same as mine. More deeps, though. What mods do you have for it? Nothing. You don't have any mods for it. Oh my god. I'll buy it though. Hack type legendary forces the target detonate grenade in their hands. Type explosion effect based on the target grenade type. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Hang on, I need to put that into uh, that's the first legendary mod. That I've seen. Wow. Okay. Remove these. You can't remove that. is better the only reason it was worse was because I have a silencer on it yeah okay cool noted well that was a huge waste of money
No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hey, I stink at this. What are you playing? Know this number? Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike- Over here, V! Take a seat! We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates, for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, Everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Let's just take another drink before we answer that. You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul... He sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool <laughs> now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. I think Pan Am knows exactly what she's doing. But does she know what she wants? Useful if she wants to take the clan wheel. Cool your heels, friend. No one's taken over anything just yet. We need to focus on tomorrow, brothers. Let's all get back in one piece. Then we talk clan politics. Can promise you one thing. 
How the Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Cool. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? I had it just a second ago, I swear. You Do you know where I saw the horses and rats? Militech broadcasts on modular people. If I do latch on to their signal and we find out who's on the site, what then, huh? Hey, if you manage to get past their jammers and then run into the surge of war, okay. Is that it? Okay, probably just him left, right? Look what the cat dragged in! Aim to prep for tomorrow? You could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in fifteen seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Okay, I probably can't do it, but... He didn't say I can't use mods. Okay, I need you to shove in me a Shandavistin. I only have one? Well, that sucks. Well, I have 16 seconds of 25% slowdown. I think that'll be enough. Can I put anything in it? Sure. Alright. So a stand of Easton slows down time. That'll help me a lot in this. We're gonna switch back to a, uh, a net deck though afterwards. Okay. Save. Begin. What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. <laughs> Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. <sighs> Die old age waiting for you here. Thanks, Cass, but I think you should keep it. it suits you more. Hmm, maybe you're right. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Welcome to reality. Okay. Tell me, 
How's life in Night City? Pretty, pretty good. Oh, Mitch is over there. Okay. Now let's go talk to Mitch. Maybe that'll be the uh, all of the avocados. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Jesus. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Explore, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. Jesus. All right. That's awesome. That's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. This is the only we heading back? To drive in the entire game. I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters god knows what else they shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. 
Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow. Once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Hmm. You're awfully quiet. Is something up? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Mm. It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Are you gonna remove this objective from my screen? Please? Thank you. Who did I not talk to in here? I should have talked to everyone. Who am I still missing? Watch where you are going. He's bugged. Oh, yeah. Talk to those guys. Okay, talk to them. Talk to him. No, no. C major, then G. Get How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. What are you playing? Know this number? Oh, okay. All right, you do that again. Why are you in a tub with... Ice cube. 
hey, you have fun doing that. anyone else to talk to. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard. <laughs> Screw you all. Yeah, there you go. So I just need to listen to the conversation. Okay. Let's do this. How do I get up there? I don't know how I can hear him so clearly from so far away, but. Can't save right now. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. And I am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting. Freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. Oh. So nice. I don't know how other relationships are in this game, but all right, let's go before I ask the relationship with Pan Am is Saul's really good. Back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. And I did not start any relationship with any other characters. So, super faithful. Hmm. 
Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. It best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Troops checked. Top down. Gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we'll need to break Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Do you feel that? The tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Right? Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Besides, true. I wouldn't have slept a wink before a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack a Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. Oh, this valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. I still don't understand how people don't see drones when they're flying around. That's like a major plot hole in this game so far. Like, I've seen the drones. They're like about the size of a uh, small soccer ball with wings that fly around. It's very obvious. walled in. Our Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I need you to, like, move the drone back outside so I can... Okay, fine. I think I've seen enough. I'll try to do this stealthily as possible. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. Literally shaking right now. Time to churn up some dust. Oh, the Cardo Convoy. 
Now that's the sight to behold. Mm-hmm. And only this desert expanse can rival the star-studded void that hangs over our heads. Hey, come take my six. Yeah, this car isn't tame. It's not that fast. It's not a good channel. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Did you fire up that drone? The little bird is humming away. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Avoid the red dot. I can do that. Wow, this is very Michael Bay. Which of the missiles are hitting everything except the path that we're going on? Your turn, Bobby. Do you remember the jammer? Sure do. Well, I am. You check if all systems are operational. Uh, I guess Delta's not an option. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. All systems are offline. Can we fix it? Right the hell now. Shit! Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones. You deal with the Panzer. Got it, you put it out. Get the fuck 